Uh, today we're going to work on How High the Moon, uh, an old tune. Les Paul had a huge hit with it in the 50s with Mary Ford. Um, it's a jazz standard played by everybody under the sun. It's in the key of G. Uh, let me give you a look at the uh, lead sheet here from the real book. It's in the key of G. Okay. So, we're doing a kind of a chord melody arrangement and let's get started second string third fret D going to first string G A and then this A is going to be on top of a G major 7 and then we're going to do another inversion of G major 7 for the, the B melody note Now the G major 7 changes to a G minor 7. Here's the same form as we'd use for the G major 7. It's an F major 7 going to that other inversion of F major 7. Here's that same form of the minor 7 for F minor 7. Going down with the root is on the 5th string, we're playing this B flat 7. E flat major 7, A half diminished, along with the open A string, change to a D7, and then to that same minor 7 form with the third on the top. So it's a G minor 7 with B flat on top. D7 again as we did before. Now it's G major 7, A minor 7, D13, okay after the C note on the first string we've got B minor 7 with the third on top, B flat 7 with that same D on top, A minor 7 with the D on top, okay so let's just review that. Um, this is basically G major 9 because the A is on top on the first string to another G major 7 okay this is this but I find it easier to use the middle finger here instead of the two fingers together so, um, this is my root C of a C7 F major 9 to F major 7 root of a B flat 7 and then the rest so now the pick is coming through to the second string to catch the D second string to catch the E flat and the first string to catch the F now we're at this barring the first three strings and we've got the E flat on the fourth string this is our E flat major 7 with G on top A half diminished with that same G now D7 D7, and the first string notes are going A, G, A, and up to this G major 7 with the third on top, the B natural. A minor 7 with A on top, D13 with B on top. This is B minor 7 with the D on top, B flat 7 with the D on top, A minor 7 with the D on top, jump down an octave to D. And then we're going to do the second A section, which is a repeat. E 
flat major seven, A half diminished, D seven, G major seven. Uh, sorry, try that again. That's it. Okay, so let's try that one more time. Continue, we can get into a little bit of Charlie Parker's line, which is ornithology. That same G major 7, but I'm going to press down the first string to get my G. Okay, so what that is, is barring the first two strings, and we're grabbing the uh, fourth fret for the third and fourth strings. Our first pickup note is D. We've got G, so G, A, B. Now when we play the B, we're going to play the first three strings with a bar. Now it's similar, but everything changes to G minor. Okay, now we have, this is um, C7 going to a G minor 7. So, C7 going to this G minor 7. Second string melody notes G to A. This is our C7 with B flat on top. Okay, so we're into ornithology now. G major 7. Everything changes to G minor. C7 to G minor 7. G, A, B flat on top of our C7. Okay, one more time on that. So we've got we've got the bar with the pinky covering the 13 and the 9. So it's this C7, but we're playing the first four strings and we've got the 13 and the 9. Okay, so we're going to go from this um, C9-13 to this kind of user-friendly version of um, F major 7. This is blotting out the second string. This is on the third string, and of course the middle finger is on the first string. Blot out the second string, and we've got this F major 7, F note on the second string, B flat, A flat, A, back to the F. Now when you come back to the F, you can do a little, a little 
fifth triad there. So we're not going to get all the way through ornithology, but let's try what we have again, that first chunk. G major seven. G minor seven. C seven to F minor seven. C seven. C9 13. F major seven. F B flat, A flat, A. F on top of an F triad. Continuing now, we've got that familiar F minor seven with the third on top, the A flat on the first string. Okay, sorry. So we've got the F minor seven. Again, you can do it this way. If you can do it that way, I find it quicker. Okay, here's B flat seven. So this is the same B flat seven we used earlier. We're borrowing the first five strings. Our melody note is the first string F, then to E flat, then to D. This is um, E9 with B flat. Okay, let's back up right there. Um, I think we'll just take this first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, roughly the first eight or so bars of ornithology, and then we'll finish the rest of ornithology next time. But here we go again. So that's plenty to work on. Uh, How High the Moon, which is fairly simple, going into the beginning of Charlie Parker's line. So if you have any questions, let me know. I uh, hope you like the tunes. Um, what I'm planning to do is there's a really beautiful solo by Barry Harris, um, a piano solo on ornithology. And I'm going to tackle, I think, the remainder of the original ornithology head next time, along with uh, a nice chunk of Barry Harris's solo. So uh, if you find it helpful, give me a like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I've got about 109 videos now. And ring the bell so you get notified of my next uh, video, which is going to be a continuation. Okay, keep practicing. Have a great day.